How are you? Oh, 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 oh. We know as you do this journey here, you're going to get hungry. I am going to get hungry. Pistachio's wonderful. Pistachio be used as a trail back to your castle. I, yes, I can follow the pistachio nut. Thank you. We also realize this is going to be a long, enduring journey. You're going to get sweaty. Oh, and you're going to have to go take a poop. Oh. <laughs> but you sometimes will be confused. There's just a plain white towel there. Well, we fix that. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Face, but. You know what you to use. Oh my god, that is fantastic. Who sits there thinking, what should we make today? I know. Let's make a towel. It's oh, fantastic. She will, yes, this, she will appreciate this very, very much. Can I put that back in there? Oh, what's this? Morax! Morax! But this one's called Excite. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. oh I mean, Fantastic. There's a contradiction here. It says they'll give him 50% more. <laughs> Did I, I should be washing? No, no, never mind. Never mind. Thank you, Mr. T. Cheers, mate. You're welcome very much. Calvin. T. John, you're a man of many hats. So, Dennis, where are you? Come on up. Who? Dennis Edmondson. Right no, it's a little. I was going to say a little early for Dennis. Dennis was a little late. In the okay. Yes. So what, while we're here and, mm. and we're taping this, we want to take a minute and uh, we want to thank Heidi. We had a special auction plan with Heidi, and right. she was going to auction off one of the most precious things that you have. And do you know what that was? No. <laughs> no, it was okay, not precious tied. things. One uh, of the most precious things for you, and that would be a kiss. Oh. She was going to be our princess at the auction house to auction off her kiss. Wow. Yes. So, so Heidi, want to thank you very much. That was a very, very gracious offer, and we hope to see you and Kai get well you. soon, and thank we'll see you on BC Six. Thank you. Thank you. Auction off Calvin's kiss. You want to auction off a kiss, Calvin? For, it's for, for the children. It's, it's for the children. It's for the children. <laughs> Bobby, why don't you come on up and auction off a kiss from Calvin? <laughs> Bobby's our auctioneer, so uh, you want to come up and auction off this kiss? Okay, Sharon, where'd you go? Where did we start the bid off at? <laughs> Forget it. There you go, Calvin. Okay. Five dollars for that. We got five dollars for a kiss from Calvin. Anybody want to up that bid? A dollar. A dollar. Uh, what, 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 is this for Calvin Kiss? Yes, yeah, it's, a, it's a Calvin Kiss on the lips. Can it go on a sign and sale card? It can go. Yes. yes it can. Ten, ten bucks. Bid five. So ten. More than five. What do we have? So that's three. On, you got, you're not seeing five yet. Come on, keep going. What do we have to do? Calvin's a hug. Here's your ten. Just tell him there's your ten. See, we figured if it was Heidi, that you would have bid. Oh, you did. I would have kept bidding. Um, Steve, how much are you putting in for a bid with Calvin? Ten. Ten. Oh, oh all right. Up to ten. Anybody want to be ten? Come on, come on. We got ten. Twenty. Come on, twenty. Twenty. Anybody want to be twenty? Go on once. Go on twice. Gotta go to Steve. Yeah. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, it's thank you, VS. Thank you, Steve. Here it is. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the kiss that could start a one. Don't just say that you don't get to keep the money, you give it to. The money goes to St. Jude's. Who's doing the money? Really good pass. Oh. oh. This is my date for the, for the uh, uh, chef's table. Thank you. But I think we all should, if you get a chance, thank Mel and Calvin for they do some really hard work. Well done, Mel. Well done, Calvin. Because without their work, John wouldn't be able to spend as much time on Absolutely. Facebook. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Now, word of caution. Uh -oh. If Mel is on the ship and she's out delivering packages, keep your door last. Don't ask me how I know that. Mel? Okay. As a hero... Heroes become famous. Right. And heroes go to Hollywood. Ron. Someone found in the archives. <laughs> oh, this is your first starring role?
Oh my god, it's the Mary Kate. Ah, ha, ha. Look at this. Read it all. <laughs> the Bloggers Mystery Cruise Edition. The Adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley featuring John Heald in his breakthrough role. <laughs> And there's a picture of me next to the two little buggers. Look, there we are. Look. Not a great yeah. Oh, my God. Read the back. The Adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley, The Case of the Mystery Cruise, 1995. Cruise director John Heald. The sequel to The Adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley, The Case of the Sea World Adventures. The girl's father's laptop containing vital information gets stolen. Gene Siskel and Roger Edbert said, Carnival Cruise director John Heald's performance in this film is simply one of the most scintillating seven seconds in cinematic history. <laughs> <laughs> two, th two thumbs up. An original Evil Crew production, all rights reserved. That is brilliant. Air work, uh, artwork by Leo. By Lance, 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 Lance. Unbelievable. He truly is a genius. Do you see that? No, no, I've got a multi-system. <laughs> okay, hey, we have one more. Thank you, mate. So Thank you. You can go home and practice your dance with Kai. Jen, Jennifer, come on up. The CD is actually playing for you. Right. It is in the back. So, oh, yeah. Thank you, Kelvin. I have to tell you, I had a lot of fun starting this. Because 85% of it is on album music, which I know you hated Mamma Mia. And yes. I know you did it for, for Heidi. Yes. But we had to. Oh, dear. What did you do? I'm like, you know, we can't just do all of them. No, we can't. So, of course, I had to do the Barney theme song, oh. which I know you love even more than Ava. Right. And then I was remembering back to our karaoke from BC3 and Right. Four. I'm <laughs> too sexy. FC. And, man, I feel like a woman. Oh, God. Last year. Oh, hold him, Barney. So, transvestite Barney. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, William Transvestite Barney. So, Lance, of course, came up with the artwork for this. Um, Special. Replaced Pierce Brosnan. Oh my god, I'm in Pierce Brosnan's body. <laughs> <laughs> and all the songs are listed on the back. Mamma mia, voulez vous, gimme gimme, money money, Waterloo, take a chance, I love you. I'm too sexy and dancing queen, man, I feel like a woman. Brilliant. Kiddo, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Wow. Mamma Mia the movie. Fantastic. With me on the movie. back. Look at that. Okay, before we, we send good. John the King Neptune, is there anybody I've missed? Everybody okay? Well, everybody's doing good? Okay. Time for me to meet the man. Time for you to meet the man. Yes. You know, the man might have a nickname. His nickname might be Jerry K. Uh oh. So, let's pull out the proclamation here. Oh, the proclamation. Go, the Go forth to King Neptune and read the proclamation. Oh, from mighty, the shrimp. oh, mighty King Neptune, the ruler of all under the seas, I come bearing this message on behalf of those who are thou most devoted followers, the mighty bottom dwellers, the ones who keep the ocean bottoms clean, the shrimp. Oh, mighty king, the shrimp have been forsaken by the evil carnival beards. <laughs> Rise up thy powerful trident and cast a horrific hurricane upon the beards and make them see the error of their ways. May the winds and the rains of the oceans make them cower until they are brought to repentance so that thy shrimp who work hard to become tasty delicious morsels are once again returned to the carnival dining halls to be consumed nightly. <laughs> <laughs> it is upon you that I give you this privilege oh. to, to seek out the head chefs yes. and demand yes. that they put the shrimp cocktail back on the daily menu. Let it be known, King Letchu, that I shall go forth here and multiply. <laughs> well, that's not right. I shall go forth from here and, and, and seek upon the beards that they knoweth that thou hast issued an order and if thou do not bestow shrimp upon us, that you will take your trident and stick it up at their arseth. <laughs> and I understandeth, heareth, and I will obeyeth. Even though Pat's really the boss. <laughs> Thank you, King Hatchin. All right, Neil McCurry, we'd like to thank you for coming and participating. Wonderful. We'd like to have you, as you walk out, take one last Hold one. on. King Neptune, come and standeth here, please. Yeah. With your fork. As he's coming up, uh, everybody, please take one last look at our auction table. And uh, before okay. you leave, and... Uh, Bruce, if I can just, before they leave... Yes, please. Uh, if, actually, you probably want to stand here. 
You know, I've known Ed for a long time now. How many years has it been, mate? Take your beard off, Neptune. 2007. Is it 2006, 7? 7. 2007. And I've only ever... I've only really known Ed as he looks now. So I said to somebody who'd become a very good friend of mine, what did Ed look like before I knew him? Ed, and thanks to your son, I've been able to find out what you looked like before you were Big Ed hero to the world so let's have a look at the first picture please calvin there <laughs> so i'm gathering which one who's this so who's that that's ed there he is and that's pat you look at you two and there's who's that no idea, <laughs> but there he is. Look at that, and there's a bottle of there's a there's a bottle of liquor in front of them. Look at that, fantastic. But look at this next one. This is my favourite. This next one. There they are on their wedding day. Look at that. There you are. The car. What was going through your mind there, Ed? What were you thinking? Because you look at. I'm not sure if that's a smile or a grimace. Onward. Onward. And then this one. Showing that Ed can be a cowboy. Oh, oh, <coughs> look at you. <laughs> oh, look at you, Pat. Yes, I am. Look at you. Have we got any more? Oh. Ah, and that's my favourite one. That's the one I always think of when I think of Ed. Ed having a poor voice in life. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Ed, for all you do. Thank you, Pat, for all you do. You are much loved. And to do all this, thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. So, uh, you did a silent auction, did you? Let's, oh my goodness, let's have a look and see what you're doing. We've got pins and, goodness, look at the bobbleheads, the post of the bag. Look at this number three. Stunning. Oh, God. <laughs> Calvin, have you seen that one? Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain, me and you. <laughs> Fantastic. Evil Crew, thank you so very much. We've got to do one more thing. I've got to cut the cake. Right. <laughs> oh, then, uh, put your hand on mine. Ready? One, two, three. Cut. Then we'll do another bit. There you go. Thank you, guys. Come and line up. Get some cake, please. Thank you, everybody. Hi. Oh, yeah, those things are very good. Oh, yeah, I got you on this, Gibson. They're fantastic. They stay warm an enormous time. Montego Bay, actually we're here at the spot right yeah. now. We just uh, did something with um, uh, Big Ed, a regular contributor to uh, Facebook and the blog and his, uh, his crew. Had a lot of fun this morning and last night we did the adult scavenger hunt. 
Today we have uh, Superstar Live with all the bloggers and of course later tonight Cigars Under the Stars. So lots to look forward to. And of course I mentioned Superstar Live, very popular right across the fleet. And uh, tonight uh, a lot of the bloggers will be singing. And Calvin, you and I are going to be doing a duet, aren't we? That's right, and I have one all picked out for us. What are we singing? A bit of rock and roll, a bit of uh, Bon Jovi? I think we would do a duet to Aaron Neville and Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look straight. You look constipated. <laughs> What's the matter? Josh, can you please go on so I can continue normally, please? Oh, normally. Okay. So, um, we wish you were here. It's been a great week so far. And uh, I'm just going to leave you now with Calvin, who last time we cut off, and I felt very really bad, rude. very rude. So, Calvin, I apologize for what happened last time. Would you please now tell them a little bit about who you are, your hopes and dreams for your future days? Ladies and gentlemen, Calvin Sean Champagne hyphen backslash Martins. Thank you, John. Well, of course, everyone knows that I'm from Africa, Canada. <laughs> Thank you, John. And thank you, John. Get off me. Oh, yay! Mal, will you tell him now? Calvin. Tell him. <laughs> right. Control yourself. Calvin.